Oh yeah, this is, um, I suppose you can say this is day one, I suppose, or day one and a bit of my secret present for Kevin Branchett, the professional photographer across the road. He's the pro tog of Craharrick in Cornwall. Um, it's the St. Day area. If anybody needs any wedding photography or event photography, he's your man. Cheap as chips, and he does a bloody good job. Um, I'm doing this as a special secret part of his Christmas stash gift. He used to love having rice and raisin wine, he used to tell me, so I thought I'd have a bash. Um, I pitched this last night. Um, should be ready by the second week in December. He says you can drink it straight away, but it'll be up to him. just want to show you that it's rice, as you can see. Rice, sugar and raisins and that's it basically on some um, water which is spring water um, but I just want to show you day two there is some freaky stuff coming off the rice I think the starch is coming off the rice not only bubbles but it's like some flip thick gloopy stuff coming off because I've done two because the recipe said to put it in a big bucket but I haven't got a big bucket yet well, I will do the new year, but I didn't need a bucket yet for what I've been doing. Um, so I've put it over two. I've, I've mirrored the recipe, and I've done it over two. So after its first fermentation, I'll strain it off and put it into one. Um, the yeast is very happy. Um, I'm using it, your high alcohol yeast. I divided the packet over two. Each one has had a a teaspoon of young super high wine yeast as well and some yeast nutrient uh, the usual pectolase, citric acid, tea for tannin um, and as you can see there is some weird fungi stuff going on with the rice um, I've got to stir it or shake it for 14 days and then I can rack it and clear it and they say I can drink it straight away but I don't know I'll see what it's like and that this should <laughs> listen to this one this should come out as 17 or 18 percent um, which is potent and there's the three litre mark so I've got just over so I should get seven and a half litres out of both of these after all the bits taken out of the sediment at the bottom and the fruit and the rice I should get five and a half litres of solid juice or wine or whatever you call call it and um, look at that a minute there's some freaky stuff going on with that wine there is some freaky stuff some stuff coming out of that wine I think it's starch or something but whew. That rice is going well, one go. Did you see it? It's bizarre. It is well bizarre. And this is all just coming off the rice. The raisins were at the bottom last night, and now they're pumped up at the, they're at the top, which is fine as they do. There's, um, oh I should say the ingredients. There's 500 grams of sugar in each, um, 450 grams of raisins and 500 grams of rice. Um, and there you go. They say you can reuse the rice and the bits and bobs after again but it's so cheap in it, you might as well just get fresh ingredients and brew it to the 18 to 19 percent. I was going to get turbo turbo yeast for 20 percent plus, but this has come out at 17 to 18 percent, so very much difference, really. And uh, as you can see, this is going to be a diary every couple of days so Kev can see what's going on. But I just like to show the rest of the world that. Although I said I'm not brewing at the weekend, I did brew, but I've got to keep it a bit of a, a secret.
So there we go. Me five minutes is up. Sorry to bore you, but this is part of a Christmas present. So I shall see you again. This is Ken saying, see you later. Bye now. Um, 17. Hi, oh, yeah, this is um, part two of my, or, yeah, episode two of my um, secret hush hush present for Kev across the road. My old good old buddy, good friend, best friend. Um, this is um, the Rice and Raisin. Um, this one, as I spoke to you in the previous one, they were both going tongue and oh, they were both going like crazy. This one is still going, this demijohn, but a little bit slower. This demijohn slowed down, I don't know why. They've got exactly the same ingredients. Um, but this one slowed down. There's not a lot of fizzing going on in this one. But I want to draw your attention to that. Do you see the fine... It's like a fine... The rice is becoming... Half the rice is fined out. And it's like a sawdust. And when I swirled it around this morning to give it the shape that I'm supposed to do as per the instructions, the rice was very soft and you could feel it. It just floated, which was good. And you're getting this fine, like rice dust. Um... Like rice flour, I suppose you could call it. But yeah, but this one isn't going half as quick as this one. Oh, turns it around a minute. Um, this one's still going every 10 seconds. Um, and it's still got that, we've still got that fizzing effect as you can see it's still going crazy there and again we've got that fine rice flour stuff on top of the rice and like I say when I stirred this one it's the same thing the rice is very soft and it just swirled about so I don't think I'm going to shake it around as much as they said they said do it once a day but I don't want to I think I was stressing the yeast out a little bit in this one I think that's why this one's karma because you know that smell, that eggy smell you get sometimes. The sulfur smell when you stress it out. I think I might have been shaking it a bit too erratic. But it is still working. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna shake them no more for a few days or touch them. I'm just going to leave them go. Um, and then... Well, even it says 14 days, but I don't know. I'll see what it's like after 10 or 12. Um, it's a very strong smell of alcohol. Very strong smell. Uh, which is good. That's what he wants. But there we are. That's episode 2. While filming this 3 minute, I've had about 10 or so burps on that one. And this one's been burping every five to ten seconds so there you go and that's today's short video out the way of the rice and raisin wine update thank you very much bye hi uh, this is um, a quick video showing the rice and raisin wine that I'm doing for Kevin across the road the secret uh, Christmas present and a quick update I know I'm doing them now and again but the recipe said to keep the raisins and the rice in there till Friday giving it a stir every day well I've been giving it a stir and um, last night the raisins looked mouldy and looked like cobwebs over them so I thought today I know it's still got a couple of till Friday to do I thought it's time for the raisins and the rice to come out I think they've done their trick so, and because they stopped popping um, days ago, the airlocks. So um, I filtered them three times through different sieves and then through um, my patented um, compression support stocking method, um, which works a treat. Um, <laughs> I'm not giving that idea away. <laughs> no, um, you need ulcers for this idea and you don't want them. Um, 
So um, I've done that. I filtered them three, maybe four times today. Um, and they were even starting to clear at the top as well. I'm looking like I've got about six litres of juice, brew, wine, tipple, um, alcohol, whatever you want to call it at the moment. There's my three litre mark and it's just above that on both. Um, so I've done that and I've cleaned the demijohns out and poured it back in. Fed it, fed them some more yeast nutrient just to keep them happy. It's because I took the raisins out so I thought I'd put some nutrient just to replace the raisin. And I shall keep them in there now. It's the 1st of December today. I shall have a look at them on the 8th, Wednesday the 8th. Is it the 8th? Well, next Wednesday anyway. And if um, it's looking good, I shall put the clearing agents in and we'll start the clearing down. We're going to get this crystal white before he has it. So I'm looking at about maybe 5 litres. So we're looking at between 4 and 6 bottles wine bottles so all in all and it's oh, I took a quick taste as well and it's um yeah it's al alcoholic it's reached its 18 percent if not a little bit more I would have thought um it's very alcoholic <sighs> very I think you'll like this very much um this is a two minute video update video over and out by now